Our next storyteller is Cheryl Childers. <coughs> Cheryl uses art to help cope with and manage her disability, which is schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. Her art has been exhibited at the West Virginia Creative Arts Center in Morgantown, at the West Virginia Diversifying Perspectives Art Contest in Charleston, and in artworks in Wheeling at the Mental Health Awareness Exhibit. In 2012, she organized her own art show at the Methodist Community Center in Moundsville, West Virginia. Please join me in welcoming Cheryl Childers. Childers, I have schizoaffective affective disorder bipolar type. I have managed my illness for approximately 30 years. It's been a battle I wouldn't wish on anyone. I don't blame anyone, I, but I did blame myself for years. I married at the age of 18. I gave birth to a daughter, Debbie Dawn. Things went well for about five years. Then I became pregnant with my son, Samuel. After his birth, the chemicals and hormones in my body were not working right. I became very sick. I remember taking the children to my sister's, and my son didn't have a coat on. It was winter. I had laid one out for him, but my daughter asked for the coat for her doll. I gave her the doll, the coat, meant for the baby. She put it on her Cabbage Patch doll. That's when my family saw the illness coming out. My sister called my husband. But Rick was working away. He wouldn't be there till evening. He came that evening and took me to a mental health facility. He tried to get me help, but I refused. I had never been violent before. I hit him so hard, he said he's never been hit harder, even by a man. The police were called. The policeman dealt with the situation very well. He talked with me, and I agreed to go. I was in a mental hospital for two months. I received shock treatment, but the worst pain suffered was the terrible guilt of being away from my children. The delusions I'm having were terrible. I thought my children were in danger. I didn't know if they were getting fed. I came home a different person. I felt isolated, cut off, and bent up inside myself. I couldn't see the beauty in the world. I was institutionalized on and off for approximately 30 years. When my daughter received a writing award, I wasn't there. When my son hit baseball, I wasn't there. I don't know how I made it out of the madness. I realize now it was because of a God of love. I remember being in the hospital. I saw a light as I was walking down the hall. I followed the light. It was an open door. Inside was an arts and crafts room. I worked first as a calligrapher, crafter, writer, and now an artist. I was so inspired by the arts and crafts there. An artist is the last trade I thought I would be into. I am able to express myself emotionally through my art. My family encouraged me to go for it. I'm grateful to be a part of this is my grave. My daughter currently lives in New York City. She is working on her doctorate in American Studies. My son is a computer programmer at John Hopkins in Baltimore. He is also a scholar. We have strong relationships now. I missed a lot of their childhood, but I feel now that I finally got my life back. I love doing art, and currently I'm cleaning out a room in my home to make a studio. God made a way for me through this struggle called mental illness. I'm grateful to be able to share my story. Here's a piece of art, which was inspired by my daughter, which also inspired this poem. Here's the poem written for my daughter, simply entitled Love. The world awaits, even the peacock hesitates. Open your wings, my love. Show them the true colors of your heart, because in every sunset, we're never apart.